Hey there folks, Lenny Rudo here for Fish Talk Magazine. We are out on the middle Chesapeake Bay with the folks from Anglers. We got Mike up here, we got Roger over here, we got Lindsay back here. We are going to try fishing some riprap. Riprap offers great opportunities for topwater, for jig fishing, for striped bass all throughout the Chesapeake Bay. Now, one important thing to notice first is the spots we're choosing. You can see how the rocks here come out and make a point. Anywhere you have a point, you want to check it out, especially if there's current hitting it. Hey everybody, it's Mike with Anglers here. So, um, little trick for fishing topwater areas, everybody's thinking uh, floating plugs, but a really great option, especially when they're not hitting on the top water, late morning bites, are, are shallow water lift baits. They're generally gonna have smaller lips, maybe only dive anywhere from six inches to 12 inches. Right here we have a Savage foreplay, which is just a jointed hard bait with a lip that's just gonna swim right below surface. Sometimes when they won't hit that action on top, these are great options. Um, these and diving baits like the Ozuris, uh, crystal minnows, and those sort of baits. Now you can see, looking at these rocks, the water's fairly low, the tide's been going out. We're gonna bug out. We're gonna go hit some fish in some different areas because you can't fight nature. That's one of the important things you have to remember about fishing in the shallows when you're hitting riprap, when you're hitting piers. You need good water. When the tide goes out, it's time to try something different. One thing, folks, you gotta be really quiet when you're up in these shallows. A loud human voice is enough to spook these fish. So as we work our jigs through here, we're basically remaining silent. So a great way when you're fishing the shallows to find fish after the early morning bite has come is to look for shade. A lot of times when you have shade cast down along these shorelines, those fish are gonna feed in on those areas. So late morning, eight, nine, 10 a.m., you can still pick up fish on the top water. One final tip I wanna leave you with, folks. Notice it. I'm throwing a jig right now. They're both throwing top water. It's important for everyone to try something different because you just never know what's really going to activate those fish. Don't miss another cool fish dog video. Click below to subscribe.